Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Shandy and I'm the UPOP coordinator here at Sick Kids and I'm also a child life specialist and I'm here with my co-host Iman. Hi. And her and I are going to go down to IGT soon and learn a lot about pick lines. down in IGT in the observation area with Nurse Jenny and Amon got called back to her floor. So she made sure to give me all the questions to ask. Jenny, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with us. Can you tell us a little bit about your role here? Certainly. I'm a nurse that works in IGT that's had special training as an interventional radiology clinician, which means I can insert the PICC lines. Okay. Well, then you're a perfect person to talk to because today we're learning all about PICC lines. So um, what does IGT mean? IGT is image guided therapy, which means we use special ultrasound, x-ray, CT guidance to help with the procedures we do here in IGT. Oh, that sounds really neat. I can't wait to see the equipment when we go into the I'll room. I'll take you in the room, so okay, show it awesome. to you. And what is a pick line? A pick line is a nice, secure form of access into a big vein that's hopefully going to last for the duration of whatever your treatment is. That's interesting. Can you can you show us what a pick line looks like? I happen to have a pick line oh, in my okay, pocket. Oh, okay, excellent. We have different kinds of pick lines. Mm -hmm. This particular one is a nice soft white one. So what happens is the part that's inside, inside the vein, mm -hmm. is very, very soft mm -hmm. and very tiny. And then what you'll see on the outside is this white part. And that's what will allow your nurses to give medications, blood products, chemotherapy, fluids. They can even draw blood tests from them. Wow. So this is what a pick line looks like. Does it hurt when they when they draw blood or no. give medicine? That's one of the best things about the pick lines mm -hmm. is you're unaware when any of the medications are going in and you don't feel it when any of the blood tests are done. So it cuts down on many, many, many pokes. And you know, this, it seems like it's thinner than a piece of spaghetti. It is. It's very, very tiny. Mm -hmm. and it's just it's small enough to fit inside your veins, inside your bloodstream. Hmm. Uh, Jenny, why would somebody need a pick line? So. Children get different pick lines for different reasons. A pick line is a great way to manage your time in hospital because it can be used to give all your IV fluids mm -hmm. through. So there's so many reasons that you could have one. If you have an infection, it could be for antibiotics. If you have cancer, it could be for your chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. If you have uh, low blood counts, it could be to be give your blood transfusions through. It could be used for sampling, just to draw all your blood tests from. So there's many, many reasons that children get pick lines. Not all children that get mm. pick lines, or not all children need a pick line that come into the hospital, but it certainly really supports their time when they're in the building. So, so who makes the decision about who gets a pick line and who doesn't? So the team that's looking after you medically will talk to us in IGT. We have a vascular access service and they will determine if a pick line is appropriate for you, if it's the best device to use while you're in hospital. Their team will meet with our team and then we make the plan for you to have the pick line in. Okay. We also ask mm -hmm. you and your family if you think it's something that will work for you. Oh, so like the kids and the moms and the yes. dads and the grandparents, they have a say in uh, yes. that makes sense. We want you to be prepared and understand what a pick line is. We would never just have you have one put in. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, this is a crazy question. So one of the Apopolis users sent in a question because they knew we were meeting with you today. And they said, are there pink and purple pick lines? That's a great question because if it were up to me, they'd be all different colors. Yeah, I think Unfortunately, so. it's not. But most of our pick lines are white. But we do actually have purple pick lines, really? which are a very special pick line called a power pick, which they can be used for CT scans. So they do come in purple, but it's not necessarily the case that you're going to get a purple one. Right. We do, however, have volunteers that make beautiful knitted covers that go over our oh, pick I've lines that come in all different colors. So you can certainly make it very specialized to what you like. Sounds cozy. All right, Jenny, is it all right if we go check out the room? Sure, let's okay. go look at all the neat equipment we have here. Sounds good, thanks. All right. 
So people who come in the room wear a lead suit. Lead suits, wow. Okay, Jenny, I've worn one of these wet lead suits before. How heavy is a lead they suit? They weigh 15 to 20 pounds. Wow. They're very, very heavy, and I'll give you one to wear to try okay. on. Super clean. Everyone will have on hats, mm -hmm. masks, gowns. We'll have our lead equipment on because we're dealing with radiation. Right. And then we'll get ready to put the pick line in and sterile gloves as well. Like how many people are usually in the room? There's often five people. And the kids will often say to me, why are there so many people right. here? And I say, we're here to keep you safe. We all have a different job and we're right. all going to take care of you. Jenny, how long does it usually take to put a pick line in? We budget about an hour, which okay. sounds like a long time mm -hmm. to put a pick line in, but most of that is the preparation. So this, so this is actually the bed, is it? So you come in and you'll lay on this bed. Okay. You'll have a special armrest for your arm to lay on for the pick line. Uh -huh. We have a little warmer we put at the end of the Ooh. bed, and we have a little soft jelly pillow you can lay on. I think on. I see that. Yes, my pillow. little gooey pillow. Whoa. You can sleep on that. Looks like a donut. Yep, it looks like a cake. And if you feel this mattress, it's actually a memory Ooh. foam mattress as well. So we want to make sure. Take a nap. You're very comfortable before we start. And if you're getting a pick line, tell us if something's uncomfortable. Mm. I want you to be in the best state of, before we even begin the procedure. Well, and some kids ask, they say, oh, well, actually, Amon said, she said she didn't feel anything when she got her pick line in. That's what she told us in her room. So do kids sometimes feel something or do they not feel anything? Like, what's that like? They do feel, I will never say to a child, you're not mm. going to feel anything. Mm -hmm. But in terms of what you actually feel, mm -hmm. it's not very much. Mm -hmm. And we take a lot of steps to make sure you're as comfortable as possible coming into the room. It's really important to me that you have a good experience when you have your mm -hmm. pick line put in. Is there anything else in the room that we should tell the kids about? Well, the one thing I always tell kids is they walk in the room and they say, oh, there's so much equipment in here. Mm -hmm. It's not all for mm -hmm. every case, every time. Yes. We do many different kinds of cases in these rooms. We don't use all this. The do you know what I tell kids? I say, do you have a garage at home? And a lot of them That's say, they say. say, yeah, I have a garage at home. I say, is there a lot of stuff in your garage? They say, yeah, a lot of stuff. I say, well, this room is like a storage area too. Yes, we have and a lot of stuff. For them. Exactly, <laughs> the room, all the right? things they're stored in the yeah, corner, yeah. and a lot of screens, and we don't always use them all at once. That's really good advice. Can you swim with a pick line? No. Unfortunately, mm. it's very important to keep your pick line site dry at all times. Even bathing or showering, you have to keep your line covered. Okay, because Amon was talking about loving her bubble baths. So, what do you do if you have a pick line and you want to have a bath? You'll have to wrap it. Mm -hmm. Some people put plastic bags over it. There's even some devices you can buy to cover the pick lines, mm -hmm. but it's crucial that you keep that dressing dry at all times. Okay, and what about sports? I always tell people you can still do your activities, but try and limit them to activities that are going to keep your pick line safe. If you're doing something that you think there's a chance of it getting caught mm -hmm. or pulled or dislodged mm -hmm. or dirty, don't do it. Okay, all right. And I guess if you have questions about that, it would be good to talk to your parents or somebody that works at the hospital. Yep, you can yep. always ask to talk to the vascular access mm -hmm. team, talk to your medical team mm -hmm. that's looking after you. They'll be happy to answer all your questions about okay. your pick line. And you can always call us an IGT. I'm happy to answer any questions anytime about pick line. What about when you need to get it out? Like you don't okay. keep it forever, right? No, and that's mm -hmm. the nice part about it. It's just in, because a lot of kids, they'll say, oh, it's permanent, so you don't uh, have to keep having mm -hmm. IVs started. Right. It's not permanent forever. Uh -huh. It's for the duration of your treatment. So okay. once your treatment's done and your team's decided you no longer need your pick line, they'll have you come down to IGT and we'll take it out for you. Okay. Now usually what we do is we'll put the topical anesthetic cream, the numbing cream on, mm -hmm. let it stay on for 45 minutes mm -hmm. so it's working really, really well. And again, I'll inject a little tiny bit of the freezing medication and most kids don't even feel the pick line come out and you go home and just a Band-Aid on. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time, Thank Jenny, you. and for answering all our questions. And if you have any more questions, because we've shared a lot of information today, 
please talk to your nurse, your child life specialist, your doctor, or your IGT specialist, and they'll answer all your questions. Thanks for tuning in.